was asked about this quite a while ago, and I, I, to be honest, I forgot all about it. And I was doing some uh, projects at school, and I remembered um, someone asked about doing ASCII art using flow rhythms. So I thought, that time of the year, let's do a Christmas tree. Or if you're not religious, let's do a tree. So this first program, okay, you can see what's happening here. Um, I've got a width of six, a height of four. That's going to be the dimensions of the tree. I'll see what that means in a second. And then this is the code that's going to uh, to build the tree, uh, build the box up, and it's going to do a row at a time. So if I run this bit of code, you'll see it looks like this. Now this button here, look, this turns off the bubbles. So you can see I've got a six um, by four tree. So if I change that to let's say five by three you'll see I'm doing a, an odd number to keep a, a squarish shape because of the gaps between the lines so if I run that there's my my box that's going to become the base of my tree so I also need a triangle shape for my tree so there's our box shape so let's look at the triangle There's the triangle. There we go. Now I'm going to delete some of this out of the way first of all. I'm going to take this little bit of code there. I'm just going to cut that out. And I'm going to run that just to see what I've got. Okay, so you can see I've got my thing here. Now what I'm doing is I've, I've used five as my point. So five, one, two, three, right there. So six stars, not five. So I start here and, I, and I'm padding it out with spaces. So five spaces first, then the star. Four spaces, then the star. Three spaces, then the star. Two spaces, then the star. One space, and then the star. The star. So that gives me the star, the angles. Now what I need to do now is come down this other side and fill in the others. So if I paste that bit back, uh, you'll see that what I then do is after I've done the new line I double up the value so as I run the program so I'm doubling up Y okay so as I run the program what I get is the five stars the space and the star because I was one the five stars and then we had two stars so it's another two stars three stars another three stars and so on to give us our triangle shape and you can see that happening here if we step through this program so it makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on okay you can see it's putting the spaces in first which you can't see and there's the star you like there we go there's the second one just because we're on zero so it times two or one so times two and then the output and then there's the next one it's going to pad it in there it is so I'll do another two stars and the next one less spaces this time three stars and then the other three stars there we go and it's going and then we get our, our triangle so all I've got to do now is combine these two programs together and put a tree at the bottom and we'll have a nice um, triangle and, tr uh, and square to make a, a Christmas tree so if I bring in the next part where I've got them together so you can see here this was the bit that was doing the triangle and all I've done is put the bit at the bottom that draws the square okay so if I run this one it doesn't look anything like a Christmas tree but if I turn the bubbles off there's our Christmas tree so there's our triangle and our square below it so a nice little example there of using ASCII art to draw and loops to draw a shape in this time. A box, a triangle and overall making a tree. I hope you like that. If you did like and subscribe or if you want to buy us a coffee.